In this video, I will be talking about the Bitcoin rising wedge that most likely is going to be breaking down today and I will be exactly discuss where we're heading towards next and most importantly, I will be discussing the two critical important events that are going to be happening in the coming days ahead of ourselves and this will be massively affect the markets today. So don't miss out what I will be telling about these very important Federal Reserve meetings. So don't miss out on today's update video, it's going to be massively important important so smash up the like button on the previous video we smashed it up above 500 likes can we do it again on today's update video smash up that like button and let's jump straight away in towards the content and once discussing the imminent short term on bitcoin we can clearly see we're starting to see a small little uptrend getting created however we are starting to see a losing structure getting formed on the recent hours on the market we can clearly start to see that the, the that we are starting to form lower highs again and lower lows and so far it looks to be that we're starting once again a small little downtrend on the imminent short term on the one hour time frame however what we do can clearly see here is that the most important resistance on the one hour time frame is definitely the upward sloping resistance line right here and in order we break it we could be potentially see some more upside but personally what i'm currently also seeing is of course the uh, the volume that is clearly decreasing also suggesting there's probably going to be a large move that is going to come anytime soon here and if you're really going to look at the four hourly time frame you can clearly see bitcoin is currently forming that bear flag and after seeing this bear flag getting formed we can also start to see potentially that bitcoin is starting to create a new upward sloping support line out of it right so you can clearly see we are starting to form a new upper sloping support line in the middle of the bear flag and yes the lower side of support we've been not really touched it and if you're going to be approaching this pattern like this and let me remove the drawings of the bear flag for a second those are two very bearish patterns to be very clear but you can clearly see right now we're forming a rising wedge and a rising wedge is also a typical bearish bias uh, bearish bias pattern and a bear flag is also a bearish bias pattern so two bearish patterns are currently forming and in case one breaks we could be potentially still hold on towards the bear flag a bear flag low but still this is not looking all too strong for Bitcoin. And once we're seeing a breakdown over rising wedge, the price target is not going to be all too terrible. It's going to be indeed on the lower side of the wedge. So that is going to be bringing Bitcoin down to 20.7k. So that could definitely be a target to be aiming for. But if we also break below the lower side of support of the bear flag, we could be even in for that significant drop, right? We could be still in for a drop all the way down towards approximately $19,000. But personally, I will be just casually wait first to see if we we can either hold on towards this level right here the 20.7k because that's the price target of the rising wedge and this is also the most important support to be watching in the market right now here because like you can see on this chart right here we can clearly see that bitcoin has been basically bouncing from of this green box several times in the past and of course the major resistance is definitely above us around the 22.7k and uh, basically we're just range trading and if we're going to come back towards this level and we fail to hold on towards it i can guarantee you then bitcoin is for sure going to fall down towards nineteen thousand dollars so yes the level to be watching right now is definitely going to be the 20.8k level and as long as we're holding on towards it it's definitely going to be quite all right Furthermore, we can see on the daily time frame, so far, Bitcoin is still holding on. We have been very boring over the course of the uh, seven days here on the market. What we can also clearly see is that we are getting rejected every single day by the same level. And that is, in this case, this red line of resistance around 21.6k. What was, of course, also major previous resistance. So, is it likely that we're going to see a rejection from this level? I don't know. We could for sure see that. But one thing is, um, is certain, and that is that the 21.6k is the level to be breaking on the daily resistance and do be aware if we do break the earth for sloping green line of support we are in big problems because the last time we did that bitcoin fell down significantly because that is basically if that in case happens uh, a break of a trend that we have been holding up for over 70 days and that will be considered extremely bearish on the market then let me talk about the most important event and the reason why I expect Bitcoin is going to be moving massively today because later today in approximately 8 to 6 hours from now on after this video is live the Federal Reserve Chairman Powell will be giving his speech and he will be talking about either if the Federal Reserve is going to be more hawkish if we're going to be expecting a 75 basis point hike if we're either going to be expecting a 50 basis point hike so it will be massively important to be watching the markets right now here and watch 
the speech of Jerome Powell because yes, markets usually tend to be already pricing in uh, the expectations from the Federal Reserve and today the Federal Reserve is going to give their expectations. So please be very much aware about that one as well. And tomorrow we will be having the Jackson Hole event and that will also have massive effects on the market. So today and tomorrow, are going to be definitely very important for all markets and also especially for Bitcoin. So I do expect that today, after we've seen significant consolidation on the daily time frame for over seven days, today is the day that we're either going to be spiking back up here or either going to spike back down here. So please watch the markets. It is today, but everything is going to be going down. And if you also want to be trading this, make sure to check out BitGet. If you don't know how to trade on BitGet, check out the video that is currently popping up in the information graph above. But more importantly, if you deposit $1,000, you will be getting a cashback of 10%. So deposit $1,000 and you will be getting a free 100 US dollars. And on top of that, you also will be able to claim a deposit bonus up to $5,000. And if you go to rewards hub on BitGet, you can exactly see on how to claim your deposit bonus on top of that 100 US dollars you can already get for free after depositing $1,000. So make sure to check out BitGet. It is definitely the best trading exchange on the market right now. Furthermore, we can also see in the Bitcoin daily time frame is that so far we are still trading in this larger bear flag yes i told you today is going to be the day that the big volatility is going to kick in here and if we do break below the important level of support we are going to be for sure be in big problems and that could be resulting in more significant decreases on the market so make sure to watch today if we close the daily candle below the 21.1k we are in big problems and of course if we pump back up here the level to be breaking on the top side is going to be somewhere around to 25.5k here Furthermore, I want to be pointing out on the weekly time frame that this is definitely the level to be breaking right now here. And once we do break above this weekly level resistance, of course, if you are subscribed on the channel, you will be the first one to know here. But more importantly, if we do break above this downward sloping line on the weekly, uh, weekly time frame for Bitcoin, I personally think the bulls could be back in control and we could be starting to see more bullish price action in the market. Just like we saw last time around in basically the bear market on the weekly time frame. We formed a significant downward slope and resist line from the high to low here. And the moment we broke it, like you can see, was basically the point the bear market was over and we started to be rising again. So make sure to keep your eyes wide open on this important level in the weekly time frame. If we do break this weekly down trend, yeah, we are definitely going to be quite all right once again back in the market. So this was it for today's update video. I truly hope you enjoyed this very short update video. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, consider smashing up that like button as well. And, and yeah, if you really want to learn how to trade, check out the video that are currently popping up above but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i'll check you guys in the next one peace out goodbye